Sleeping Beauty A long time ago, there lived a king and a queen. They were very sad as they had no children of their own. One day, the queen was sitting near a pond in the castle garden. Suddenly, a frog hopped onto a lily flower in front of her and said, Your wish will be granted. Before a year has passed, a daughter will be born to you. Croc, croc. Ah, her wish was granted, just like the frog said. A little girl was born to the king and queen. They were so happy that they ordered a grand feast to be held to celebrate the event. All their friends, relatives and the twelve fairies of the kingdom were invited. Ah, but there were in all thirteen fairies in the kingdom. What fairy was not invited? Why? Because the king and queen considered number 13 to be an unlucky number. So the 13th fairy was not at all happy. She was very angry indeed. On the day of the celebration, all the guests had gathered in the king's palace with their gifts. The 12 fairies came with their special gifts for the baby girl. One fairy said, I grant her good qualities. Another said, I give her beauty. Another fairy gave her riches, another health, and so on. Now the little princess had all the gifts that every parent desires for his beloved child. Soon, eleven fairies had given their gifts. As soon as the twelfth fairy was going to give her gift, the hall door flew open. And the thirteenth fairy came in. She was angry at not being invited to the feast. She wanted to take her revenge. She said, On her 15th birthday, the princess will prick her finger on a needle and die. <laughs> then, in a huff, she left the palace, leaving all present stunned. There was silence all around. Then the twelfth fairy, who had not yet given her gift, said, I cannot undo the thirteenth fairy's curse, but I can reduce it a little. The princess will not die, but sleep for one hundred years. The king and queen ordered for the destruction of all the needles in the kingdom. As time went by, the princess grew to be a beautiful, wise and friendly young lady. Everyone loved her. On the morning of her 15th birthday, the princess was alone in the castle. She wandered through the unending passages and rooms of the castle. She went upstairs and downstairs. At last, she came to an old tower. After climbing, the narrow flight of stairs to reach it, she found its door locked by a rusty key. Turning the key, the princess opened the door. There, she saw an old woman with a spinning wheel. The princess wished her good morning and asked, What are you doing? The old woman replied, I am spinning. Would you like to give it a try? Huh? As soon as the princess took hold of the spindle, the needle pricked her finger and she fell into a deep sleep. Almost immediately, everyone in the castle fell asleep, including the king and the queen. Even the courtiers, animals and birds fell asleep. A thick hedge grew around the castle and soon not even the flag 
on the highest tower could be seen. Throughout the land, the story soon spread of a beautiful princess who was asleep in a lost castle, where every living creature lay motionless in deep sleep. Many brave princes came and tried to break the spell but could not succeed. hundred years passed and one day a young prince came to know about the story of the sleeping princess. He was very brave. When this young prince came near the hedge, the hedge turned into fine flowers. and made way for him to pass through. In the courtyard, he found horses and dogs lying fast asleep. He saw the king and queen asleep on their thrones. Search the castle and at last he reached the old tower and opened the door of the little chamber. where the princess was sleeping. She looked so beautiful that the prince could not stop himself. He kissed her. Lo <gasps> no, and behold! As soon as it did so, the princess opened her eyes. At the same time, the king and the queen woke up. Soon all the living creatures in the castle woke up. There were sounds of happy voices all around. It was as if all was well the way it was a hundred years ago. The prince and the princess fell in love and soon got married. They lived happily ever after.